Peace and blessing, Yasharel. Just a word and enlightenment. We're in the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy, chapter 3, starting at the first verse. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men, people, shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. <clears throat> I wanted to bring this to you, brothers and sisters, because we who are of the Confederate House of Israel are living in the last days, and many of us are having a lot of strange encounters. A lot of us think, well, it must be something about me. No. Whether you're looking at the media, whether it's occurring on your job, where you live, in your home, your family, people you don't know public transportation, out and about on the street. It's telling you the kind of people you're going to run into, okay? The type of people, one of the things, despisers of those that are good. Now, at the same time, many of you on the spiritual realm have the light of God on you. You have the light of God on you. And many of these same people are drawn to you, even if they don't know why they are drawn to you, okay? They see the light, even if they cannot identify what that light is. And they watch you, they try to understand you, they try to determine your footsteps, and deeper still, they want to guide them, they want to give out your destiny to you. You have many people that are at jobs where people target you, they literally target you. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about was jealousy. It's rotten, rotten to the bone. And the means and the manipulation by which the world and people try to forward their jealousy in your life by means of controlling you, by they, they will use uh, dramatic situations to keep you distracted from those things that you should be doing. They want to keep you so busy that you can never get to those things, those things that God has put in your life and deposited in you. What they don't understand, though, is they are not fighting against flesh and blood. They think they are because they're carnal minded. They think in the physical realm, never understanding that everything you see fleshly will come to an end. But the spirit is eternal. And I don't care how much you have. It doesn't matter whether you got a lot of money. It doesn't matter if you're well-educated or self-educated, whether you have a lot of degrees or no degree at all. When the last day of this life comes, none of that's going with you. When you answer to the Most High God, He's not going to ask you what your bank account look like. He's not going to ask you how much jewelry do you have, whether you were that absolutely fine, fine guy or fine, fine girl. Or It's not really going to amount to a hill of beans because even for those that are narcissistic and vain, you're talking to the creator that created handsome, that made beauty. He knows the truth of what beauty is, not just from the physical realm, but the true realm of the spirit. Right now, these are perilous times, brothers and sisters. And because we are peculiar people, a lot of people want to make it like you who do good are wrong. 
you who speak truth are evil. Remember the word says you have some. They make the truth a lie and a lie a truth. And we live in a society that does just that. And they claim it. In some cases, in the name of God, if God is a good God, God loves everybody. But if you read the Bible, I read, you know, that's not true. If you don't do what God says, see, it's not about my opinion, my feelings, your opinion, your feelings, what the big boss said, whoever that is, because I don't have any boss except for the most high God. You, uh, it doesn't matter. Good. If, if, if God loved everybody, here's something. We be in the creation and not the creator. We are supposed to love the creator more than the creation. Be considering we are the created. How do we tell God what he should do instead of following what he told us to do? Which leads us into peace, wisdom, understanding, discernment. Okay, we line up with his word, his laws, his judgment, his statutes, his precepts, not ours. Because we know all people, when it comes to making a mistake, when it comes to getting it twisted, if it's in the flesh, it's going to get twisted because the flesh wars against the spirit. Okay. But you got people walking around here with this new doctrine, which is the lie doctrine, because there's only one truth, one doctrine, and that's the doctrine of God. All the rest is corruption, fetid, rotten corruption. And the reason why I said earlier, jealousy is rotten to the bones, rotten to the core. Anybody that lines themselves up against the word of God to debate it. There's a jealousy there. There's an envy there. Even though they may go at you, the individual, in reality, the person they're fighting against is the most high. And we know they're very high-minded, heady, truce breakers, traitors, lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. You got people right now hanging uh, LBGTQ or whatever you call those flags on churches. First of all, if the church allows them to hang that thing on the church, Ichabod is written across the door. That is not the house of God. It is polluted. I wouldn't go in. They locked a man up, I believe, for taking the flag down, called it a hate crime. But the question is, where's the crime for hating those people who honor the most high? Where's the crime for if you want to do your dirt, why would you try to do it in the house of the most high? Jealousy, rotten to the core. I mean, rottenness in the bones. Okay. I was talking about the last days. Okay. And I want to read it again. And I'm reading portions. Okay. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. You got some men. And these are just flesh and blood people. You know, they're vapors here today, gone tomorrow, like grass. Spring up in the morning, the sun hit it, and it withers by night. Dead to be seen and heard no more. But they put themselves in the position of the Most High, which is impossible. But in their mind, in their deluded thinking, they try to do it anyway. Lovers of themselves, covetous. You have people right now, the coveted. The covetness that many of us are encountering, you seem as though you're at peace. You seem uh, as though you accept yourself. You're comfortable with yourself. Uh, you have children. You have a husband. You have a wife. You have a home. You're doing your job. I want to rattle that. I want to break it down because they're covetous. Some people's covetous is just to take away that which you have. It's not because they want it. They just don't want you to have it. You have some people that work jobs that people who consider themselves bosses. I don't have boss other than the most I got. But these bosses take on a belief system that because I have this position, I'm going to control all aspects of you. Delusion. Total delusion. Okay. Um... And normally people that do that are either wicked or they're normally very, um, uh, 
what do you call it? dissatisfied with their own lives. They're dissatisfied with their own lives. Okay. Right now, we're in the so-called Christmas season. They try to forward this thing. A lot of kids think, oh, mom, dad, get me what I want, you know. And But this never was put together with regard to the Son of God, the Word of God, Yeshua HaMashiach. This was put together for economic benefit, okay. At the same time, when you don't want to practice it anymore, you have people that try to come in. And lure you away. Well, I just want to do it with your children. Then no, no, you're not going to teach that to my children. If it's something I don't practice anymore. Even if all of us may have been deterred or taught the wrong way. When you find out the right way, you suddenly get people like soldiers that want to come in and reestablish the old way in your life. Why? Why? Cover this. Okay. Without natural affection, if I'm in your house, how you raise your children, the way you have your relationship with your husband, your wife, is nobody's business but yours, unless you're doing evil and God going to find you out, okay? False accusers. What's that for? They're going to accuse you of something because they want to send your life into turmoil. Why? Because most of those same said people are miserable, okay? Despisers of those that are good. There are people out there and you need to notice and you need to be encouraged. Despisers of those that are good. They will lie on your name as long as their tongue can speak a sound. Because they despise the fact that you're good. First of all, you're a peculiar people. You're a peculiar people. Okay. And they recognize it even if they don't completely understand it. And they're in the flesh. They're in the flesh. But. Let's get a word for what the Most High said about covetous, truth breakers, heady, high minded. Okay, what did the Most High tell us? Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. You don't have to envy them because God is looking at them, He knows the end of the matter, He's laughing them to scorn. Okay. Right now, many people feel as though they're under attack. You're being bombarded, whether it's at home, at work, all the above. There are people who try to bombard you, but the most high is looking at them. Okay, because normally they're envious, they're high-minded. They are lovers of selves, thinking that somehow they are excused from the evil that they do to others. Well, the most high has an answer for that. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. This is in Psalm 37. I'm reading in different portions of it. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way. You have people who are out here robbing, raping, just demoralizing the entire nation, the world, and they're prospering. In it. Fret not thyself. Okay? Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Oh, there's some people out here. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. You don't have to worry about it. Why? Vengeance is the Lord. Okay? He will repay. Let me tell you something. I've seen God repay some people. It gets so bad. There's a person I didn't even want anything to do with. It becomes so intense. That I start praying, Lord, have mercy, have mercy, God, because when he goes in, can't nobody put him out. Nobody can put him out. Mm. Let me tell you, the wicked plotteth against the just. I'm still in Psalm 37. I'm moving throughout. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnash upon him with his teeth. How? Running his mouth. Plotting. Going about the different people. You ever walk in somewhere and people got all these attitudes and things to say because somebody went in before you and just plain lied. They just lied. Okay, but we know the most high hate of him that sold discord among brethren. See, you got to understand there's an end of the matter too. This, this, this life is only for a moment. But eternity, when the soul has to give an answer. Now you're in a completely different dynamic. The spirit realm is forever. 
forever. Okay? The Lord shall laugh at him. Now, a lot of us need to really get that picture. Here's somebody doing all this evil against you. They think they got all this power, all this authority. I know people who watch my video. They got one goal. They want to make sure I don't put them out there anymore. There are people who think I don't know they watch. Be it people hmm, I could work with, people I live near. Doesn't matter. She doesn't know that we know. But you see, my father is an illuminator. He is the creator of all things. If I'm a child of the light, the illuminating God himself, why wouldn't he tell me, particularly against somebody who's in the flesh? Because the spirit of truth will testify to our spirit, leading us to all truth. Even to know those things to come. Even telling us things to come. There are some people that watch me that I already knew were watching. My father told me that their goal is to make sure you don't make any more videos. It's not about stopping me. It's about trying to destroy the move of God. Because these things I say don't come from me. They come from the Most High God. So when a person fights against you and you are doing the work of the Father, when you are edifying the children of God, they are trying to stop God in truth. And that's something they will have to answer for. It's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Almighty God. It's a frightening, terrifying thing. So, yes, there can be people who watch, watch on. Because... Unless you are under the spirit, it doesn't matter. You can't stop the spirit. You have absolutely nothing to do with starting it. All the praise goes to God. You don't get one drop, not one sentence, one syllable. Every ounce of praise, glory, honor, and love, respect goes to the Most High God. If your actions line up with God, being respectful towards you is natural. It's automatically, it's, it comes from that beautiful light that emanates off of you because we are of that light. But if you are of the darkness, if you belong to the darkness for those who do, the wicked plotteth against the just. They plot. They sit back and plot and plan. They plot and plan. Plan and plot. Plot, plan, plan, plots. But remember, you're a child of the illuminator. You are illuminated. The most I tell you. Spirit of truth sit there. You know this one's doing this, this, that, that. Okay. They gnash it upon him with his teeth. With their teeth. What is that? Turning the mouth, the plot, the plan. Okay. The Lord shall laugh at him. Or her. Because you got a lot of herds out there too. Mm -hmm. For he see if that his day is coming. Come on now. He know the beginning of the matter and the end of the matter. So you be encouraged. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Neither be thou envious. Neither be thou envious. Hmm. See, the Lord knoweth the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. No, not just a little while. Not just a little chump, chump, chump. Forever, my love. Forever. When you go about and there are people who follow you, who fixate on you because they do, some of them, they're plotting. They're plotting on you. God's laughing them to scorn. He's laughing at God's laughing. No, you don't have to laugh. You're watching it going, Lord. But the Lord, he said it. The Lord shall laugh at him, him being him or her. For he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be it of upright conversation. They want to destroy people for being of a good conversation because they are carnal minded. They're in the flesh. But remember what God is doing. He's laughing at you. God knows the end of that. Hmm. Their sword shall enter into their own heart. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Remember, the word says, the trap they set for others, they fall into themselves. Okay. 
Hmm. Hmm. And their bow shall be broken. Hmm. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. Yes, Lord, because it's bloody. It's cursed. Okay, normally what they did. Hmm. Now, to finish. Let me, I'm going to put a little bit more to this. Because this, Psalm 37 is beautiful. Psalm 37 is encouraging. Okay, and I'm moving throughout. The steps of a good man, good person, are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. Can you imagine? While the wicked are plotting on you, first of all, God's laughing at them because he knows the end of the matter. At the same time, while they're plotting and planning and gnashing upon you with their teeth, saying all manner of evil against you, at the exact same time, hmm, God is delighting in your way. He's delighting in you. Hmm. Something to be seen. Now, I want to come down. I'm, I'm moving throughout. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom. Hmm. Like medicine, healing to the bone. And his tongue talketh of judgment. His tongue, her tongue. The law of his God is in his heart. Woo! Look, wait a minute now. That's why I'm here. My father's law, his, his, his words, his, his beauty, his glory, his righteousness. I want to give it away. I, this thing is so good. Woo! The Lord, the world didn't give it to me. This joy I had while they trying to do all manner of evil. Let me say, there's a song. This joy of mine, the world didn't give it to me. Let me tell you now. Hmm. Peace that passeth all understanding. Okay. Mm. Lord, help me, help me. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talk of judgment. So those wicked, wicked boys. Okay. Hmm. 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 There the wicked cease from troubling. There the weary bid rest. See, there's a day when the wicked cease from troubling. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Huh. When the slave is free of his master. Yeah, there's a day. But then come judgment. This, 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 this flesh, temporary. The spirit, everlasting. Mm. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. Let me tell you now. You can think you fell. You can think it's over. And God's raising you up and he's teaching you and he's molding you. The potter's working the clay out in you. So that by the time you get where you was trying to go, you have learned so much. That instead of needing something, you are on your little journey going to ask for help. By the time you get there, God is so good, you become the help. You have been given so much wisdom and discernment, so much increase. In the middle of your storm, you come and actually become the saving grace of somebody else when God lifts you up. Okay, remember above and beyond anything we could ever hope or imagine. Woo! Mm, I got to give some honor and glory to the Most High God. Woo, Elohim. The Ruach HaKadosh is Holy Spirit. And Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Word of God. I just, mm, mm, you know it gets so good you can't keep this thing in. It, 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 it starts pouring out. Rivers of living water start flowing from it. Belly. And you got people out here that think I'm in control of them. You will never. As long as there is a God who is God. And there ain't never going to be no God. But God. <laughs> you might want to be careful running out here trying to control folk. It'll keep you busy just trying to keep yourself right. It'll keep you busy just trying to stay. Keep yourself in the right frame of mind. We all slip. We all fall. We all make mistakes. Get back on track and move forward. Try to be encouraging. And when you're discouraged, when you're discouraged, wait a minute now. That's that storm because we all end up in it, right? What did he say? Wait on the Lord and keep his way and he shall exalt thee. What? Wait a minute. You, you mean when I'm falling? He's not just going to put you where you were. 
He's going to take you a little higher. He shall exalt thee. Okay? To inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Mm, thou shalt see it. Remember, a thousand shall fall at thy right hand, ten thousand at thy feet, but it shall not come nigh thee. Thou shalt simply witness the sinner's reward. Okay? He's reiterating what we already know. Because no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. 400 years of a curse is over. Now the curse is on the enemy. And you see that thing running. A thousand may fall at thy right hand. Ten thousand at thy feet. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away. He passed away. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And look, he was not, he was not, he was not, he was not, okay, yeah, I saw him, where that? where that? where she at, mm. all right, but they could not be found, hmm, 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 I'm just saying, Lord, help me, Lord, mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end. Of that man, that woman is peace, my love, peace. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. Mm. Remember now, when he separates the sheep from the goats. Oh, there's a day coming. Mm, mm. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in a time of trouble. You need some strength. Look to the Lord from whence cometh thy help. Look unto the Lord. He is thy strength in time of trouble. He's your strength. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from who? The wicked. And save them. Because they trust in him because they trust they trust brothers and sisters i want you to be encouraged i want to build each other's trust up who trust in the lord trust in the lord with all thine heart we gonna read it again because this thing is line upon line precept upon precept here a little there a little is lining up it's lining up and somebody needs encouragement somebody in your family acting a fool trying to undermine and usurp your authority mm. god's laughing at him. He knows the end of the matter. All right. Who can we trust when you can't trust anybody? I'm going to tell you. We're going to put this thing together. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. They trust in him. Woo. See, I ain't trusting in flesh. Mm-mm. You got people out here, like I told you, they think because they got degrees. I'm better than you. You've been lied to and you're lying to yourself. Okay. Maybe I got degrees. But you know what? Doesn't matter how educated I am. If I don't know the Lord, if I don't follow the Most High God, what does all that earthly crap mean? It won't save me come glory time. So, brothers and sisters, you be encouraged. You know that you are not in it alone. We are in the last days. But I just told you, God saves those. He helps those. He delivers those that trust in him. He saves those. He helps those. He delivers those that trust in him. And when these people seem fixated on you, be it at your job, be it on your street, be it out in the public, remember, you're a peculiar people. You belong to God. That's why they doing it. They can't figure it out. I don't understand what's going on with him and her. It's just something about them. And they fill with jealousy, which is rotten to the core. And that thing leads to covetousness, which we already know. Part of the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods. Some people, the thing they covet and they want that man, they want that woman, they want the smile on your face. They want that peace in your heart. They want to steal it. And the deep part is, it's not because they want peace for themselves. They just want to take away that beauty that God gave you. But see, here with a thing. They don't understand. They think they're fighting against flesh. It is against the most high God. 
and the child of God. So you be encouraged, peculiar people. Yeah, be encouraged. The light is shining and it's beautiful. A lot of us don't want to be around a whole bunch of folk, and I understand that because you can discern their spirits, you can feel it, and they think it's hidden. Some of them sit home looking at your videos, trying to figure out how to destroy you. She don't know. He don't know. God already told me, but it changes nothing. Well, the only reason why you're doing the video now is because I gave you time, though. No. You didn't give me anything. Everything I had but come from God, belong to God. When we leave this planet, we can't even take our bodies with us. We don't even have control over what they do with us to this flesh once we die. Okay? No, no control. No control. The thing I want to take with me is a piece of knowing when I get before my creator, when I get before Elohim, he says, well done, welcome into the rest, my good and faithful servant. My good and faithful servant. This house can't save me. Car, bank account, uh -uh. Ring, no ring, jewelry, no jewelry, good clothes, bad clothes, ripped clothes, clean clothes, iron clothes, wrinkled clothes. None of that can help me. I don't care how good you are as a husband, good you are as a wife, good you are as a son, daughter, doesn't matter. I need well done, my good and faithful servant, enter into thy rest. Because this temporary world, it's all old things pass away. It'll pass away. My brothers and sisters, be encouraged, you're not alone. And a lot of times the enemy is attacking you the way they're attacking you because God can take you up a little higher. Your light is shining. That spiritual light is blinding. Even when the people around you don't understand what they're looking at. Remember, spiritual man understands physical man. Man being man and woman. But the physical man doesn't understand the spiritual person. They just buy it. So you give all praise, all honor, all glory to God. And remember, you shall be delivered. You shall be helped. You shall be strengthened by the Most High God because you trust in Him. You put your trust in Him. And God is not one who forsakes those who trust in Him. Trust in the Lord with, thine, with all thine heart. Lean not on thine own understanding. But in all, not some, not a piece of, not most, but in all thy ways, acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. He shall direct thy path. Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious. God's already laughing at him. He's laughing at him. And delighting in you. At the same time, you run around, they don't know about the snap. Mm, put away wrath, put away anger. God sees it. He's laughing at them and delighting in you. You be blessed, you be at peace, you be encouraged and know. 400 years is over. The blessings are just flowing for black beauty. <laughs> Sitting on the world stage. Personally, I'm not in the beauty pageants, but it is an honor to see four sisters, four beautiful sisters, where once they couldn't even get in, gain entrance. He's delighting in you. He's delighting in you. First the blessing, then the curse. Then the curse is over. It goes on to our end. My love, you be encouraged. Know that you are not alone. Trust in him. He will deliver. He will help. He will save. Be at peace. Be encouraged. Shalom, Israel. Shalom.